to the studio and make music, you're just like, whew, all right, you know, let's make some tunes and have some fun. The, the best thing is you're hanging out with your best friend and you know saying they, they become part of your family and, and uh, God bless you. Kyle is my brother from another mother. Uh, we grew up together across the street in Ocean Beach. Um, grew up, started boogie boarding together when we were kids. Uh, our parents were really good friends, barbecues, everything, surfing growing up. Uh, as Kyle's dad would take us on surf trips down to Mexico and we started playing guitars around 13, 12 or 13 and uh, you know, watching like Motley Crue videos, we thought it would be an awesome idea to start a band together. And uh, we started Slightly Stupid when we were 15 and 16 years old. Uh, you know, we went to Point Loma High School and and uh, we've been best pros pretty much from uh, diapers till now. And uh, it's pretty insane, pretty blessed. Uh, not many people can say that, you know, they're in a, a band or even a business this long with their with their brother or their best friend. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, that song never really, uh, never really made the light of day in the live set. I mean, it was just something. It was just. Uh, something we were kind of experimenting with at the time. It was just more, if you listen to the lyrical content, the lyrical content's actually really cool, but it's kind of a pop song, just kind of, but it's talking shit the whole time. You can edit that part out. <laughs> Cause it's been three beers since I'm knocking on your door. insurance company being stoked on videos of you snapping bong hits on the internet well <laughs> my rate not only went up substantially but yeah pretty much that's it I tried to register as a non-smoker and then they found me on the internet saying that I've been smoking weed for 17 years an interview you <clears throat> gave so a week before in all fairness they were just quoting you directly when they said we think you've been smoking for 17 years because yeah, but, you just gave an interview a week before saying I've been smoking for 17 years. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I think uh, basically they just kind of investigated the whole thing. So I had to register as a smoke. I tried to hide it, but what are you going to do? Can't fight it. I mean, honestly, I think the war on drugs is kind of a joke. You know, people that have sold sold weed have done more time than people that have killed people you know what I mean and like in this country like they're focusing on something like that you can legalize certain drugs in a way where everybody's happy I mean if if you do the math alcohol and cigarettes kill almost a million people a year between the two of them you know when we were kids you didn't really hear about like the the ADD kids you know what I'm saying it was just like ah oh, that kid's just kind of spacey or whatever that yeah. kid's this and that and now it's like they got all these kids is like you know, little kids, young, before they're even teenagers, on like pills, you know, Ritalin and what's that, Adderall and other stuff. It's just, you know, it's sad. You know, you're like, Jesus, you got, and the thing is, is once you start taking it at a, a young age, your body's always going to be wanting that kind of stuff. And it's actually hard. I mean, your liver has to break all that stuff down. You know what I mean? The stuff that the, the FDA approves is ridiculous. Am I a fan of, you know, let's say just pushers on the streets? Just think about it. When we were kids, there was never a commercial about pharmaceuticals. Yeah. And now every other commercial is, do you feel sad? Take a pill. No. Well, do you feel this? Take a pill. No. Do you, you have know, to do this? Take another pill. No. <laughs> Hemorrhaging and headache and vomiting and... No. But I only had a headache. <laughs> you know, it's like, no. 
and think it's a conspiracy theory. It's it's more just it's it's a fact. <laughs> You're running out of power. We definitely got everything we can get from that. Then and what's for you? Obviously, you're gonna have to edit that down quite a bit. You may answer. Conspiracy is over. Goodbye.